So my first book, The Happiness Hypothesis, was a collection of 10 insights uh, from, from sages around the world uh, that were psychological truths. And one of them is what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, that gets at the idea, the psychological principle, of anti-fragility. Um, it's a wonderful term. That's actually a clunky, ugly term, but it was made up by Nassim Taleb because we don't have a word for this in the English language, which is that there are some systems that get stronger if they get pushed around, knocked around. Um, so a wine glass is fragile. If you knock it over, it breaks. Nothing good happens. A plastic cup is resilient. If a kid throws it off the table, it doesn't break, but nothing good happens. But there's some things that have to get thrown off the table. There's some systems that have to get pushed around. And uh, Taleb wrote this book, Anti-Fragile, or Anti-Fragility, because things like the banking system had to be tested, or it gets fragile and collapses. Bones have to be tested, used, uh, or they get weak. If you were to fly to Mars, your bones would get weak. The immune system, if you protect kids from bacteria, if you keep them in a sterile environment, you're damaging their immune system. The, Im the immune system has to face challenges in order to learn. Turns out kids are anti-fragile. And when we protect children from unpleasantness, from conflicts, from insults, from teasing, from exclusion, we're preventing their social psychology, we're preventing their social abilities, we're preventing their strength from developing. The subtitle of our book is How Good Intentions and Bad Ideas Are Setting Up a Generation for Failure. By overprotecting our children, we are setting them up to be weak, to be more easily damaged, to be more easily discouraged.